Good day, Junior Tucky. This is Mrs. Tamalon, and today we continue with depreciation activity two for year end procedures. So let's jump right in. Depreciation. So activity two, Mr. Dean Jefferson, trading as DEJ Traders, started the business on the 1st of March 2019. On the first day of the second year of trading, DEJ traders will have the following balances in their general ledger. So from the previous activity, which was the first year, to now the second activity, we carry forward the balances. So we have vehicles, 260,000, equipment, 91,000. The loss in value for the first year for vehicles, which is the accumulated depreciation on vehicles, 52,000 rand. And the loss in value for depreciation ugh, for equipment, Accumulated depreciation on equipment, 13,650. So that is at the end of the first year, start of the second year. Mr. Jean, Dean Jefferson decided to expand and bought additional equipment on the 1st of December 2020 for 30,000 Rand. And he also bought a new delivery scooter for 18,000 Rand on the 1st of January 2021. Both of these assets were bought on credit and this has not yet been recorded. That's very important because if it's not yet recorded, we need to go and record this for the next of in our books. At the end of the financial period, depreciation on both fixed assets must be bought into account. So we have to diminish or vehicles on fixed installment method or straight line or cost price method for 20% per annum and then equipment at 15% per annum on the diminished balance method. And then make your journal entries for depreciation at the year ending. That will be in the general journal and show the accounts in the general ledger. So first, if we do the calculations, vehicles at cost or 20% on cost that means that before you start it's very important to know which financial year you are working with so with year end adjustments always draw your timeline so if we have a timeline this is the 1st of March 2020 and beginning of our year and we end the 28th of February 2021 super important Please draw timelines because you will not understand adjustments if you don't know when you need to record for. And it's much easier to see it in front of you than to try and figure it out in your mind. So put pen to paper, draw a timeline. Then we put down what we know for vehicles on our timeline. So at the beginning of the year, we had a balance of 260,000 Rand and we bought a new vehicle um, uh, on the 1st of January for 18,000 Rand. So that's two vehicles, the old one for 260,000 and the new one for 18,000. Now the old one we had for the year, but the new one we only had for part of the year. So let's look at the depreciation for the old one. So formula stays the same. Cost price over 1 times rate over 100 times months over 12. So for the old one, our cost price is 260,000 for 20%. So the rate is 20 over 100. And we had it for 12 months, the entire year. So 12 over 12. And we get 52,000 Rand in the second year for the old vehicle. And then... You would notice now that this, before we continue, the 52,000 is the same as the first year. And that will make sense because cost price, the depreciation is the same for every year unless there's a time difference. So the cost price method is equal installments. Fixed installment method is this another word for it. So in other words, fixed installment method means that the depreciation is the same for every year over the lifespan of the asset. So in the second year, it will also be 52,000 Rand. Then the new one is 18,000 over one. The formula stays the same because it's still on cost or fixed installment method. 
20%, the rate is still the same. But now we had it from January. So from January to the end of February, 1st of Jan, so I count January, to the end of February, so I count February, that's two months. So times two over 12, and that gives us 600 Rand. So the total depreciation for vehicles is the old one plus the new one. So it will be 52,600 Rand. Now calculation for equipment is 15% per annum on the diminished balance method. But yet again, before I can do anything, we have to draw a timeline to see what year am I working with. So 1st of March 2020 to the 28th of February 2021. The beginning of the year, we have a balance of equipment for 91,000 Rand and the accumulated depreciation on equipment was 13,650. And because this is our only asset, we know that this 13,650 is for all or is directly related to the 91,000 because it's the only asset that we or equipment that we possess in this particular time. And then we bought a new or some new equipment on the 1st of December for 30,000 Rand. So yet again, we have old equipment and we have new equipment. So you have to keep the calculation separate because there is a time difference. So old, the formula, cost price minus accumulated depreciation times rate over 100 times months over 12. So cost price is 91,000. And we know that the 13,650 is directly related to the 91,000. So that is the accumulated depreciation for the old assets. Over 15, over 100. And then how long did we have it? For 12 months. So 12 over 12. And that gives us 11,602 rand 50 cents. But with depreciation, we always round up. You will never use cents when it comes to depreciation. So you always have to round up. And we get 11,603 Rand. Then the new one. So 30,000 but minus zero. So it's still diminishing but with nothing because it's a new vehicle. So there's no loss in value yet. So that's why we can't have a minus 13,000. Because the 13,000 refers to the 90 you know, at one and not to the 30. So the 30 is new, so minus zero, rate is 15 over 100, and now we need to figure out for how long. So from the 1st of December to the 28th of February is three months, because I count December because it's the 1st. So December, January, February, that's three months. So times three over 12, and I get 1,125 Rand. And yet again, I'm going to have to add the 11,000 603 plus the 1125 together to get the total depreciation on equipment for the current financial year. So now if we look at the general journal entry, yet again you will now see that depreciation is the expense and that is now increasing with 65,328 Rand. How did I get that? I added the accumulation for vehicles and the accumulation for equipment together. And now, please remember, when I record in the general journal, I record only for the current financial year. So, I this 52,600 and the 12,728 is the loss in value for the assets for all vehicles and for all equipment for the current year, not previous years included, only the current year. So how did I now get the 52,600? I had to add old and new. So 52,000 plus the 600 for the new gives you 52,600. And the same for the 12,728, old plus new. So 11,603 plus the 11, uh, 1125 for the new and that records the loss in value for um, accumulated depreciation on equipment and vehicles and remember our um, accumulated depreciation 
is a negative asset. So it will be an asset minus that increases. So a minus times a plus is still a minus, no? So negative asset that increases. And then in our, de in our narration, we have to name the percentage or the rate and the method. So vehicles was 20% per annum on fixed installment method and equipment was 15% per annum on diminished balance method. Then we continue and we look at the <clears throat> doing the ledger accounts. So yet again, they've already printed in or we just bring down the balances on the 1st of March. So we have this time a balance brought down because it's the second year. And now we need to record the law, the new assets that we purchased and the total loss in value for all assets for the year. So vehicles is a fixed asset and on January 1st we bought more a little scooter on credit so creditors control CJ will be the reference and then for equipment we do the same on December 1st we bought on credit creditors control CJ 30,000 Rand. We do not record the depreciation in the vehicles or the equipment f fixed assets accounts because of the historical cost um, principle and that says we can record the fixed assets only at cost price and it's also a bit matching concept so we be, or prudence we have to ma make sure that we show items of importance separately and match um, the expense to the loss in value. So therefore, we do not link the loss in value to the asset, fixed asset account. We create its own account. So accumulated depreciation on vehicles had a balance brought down of 52,000 Rand from the previous year. And now at the end of this year, we have to record the loss in value for the old and the new one. So depreciation, GJ, the total 52,600, old plus new. And then in the accumulated depreciation on equipment account, the balance brought down is 13,650. And yet again, we need to record the loss in value for the current year for old and new, so 12,728. Now you get to depreciation and all of a sudden, there's no balance and you would have noticed that there will well you will not be given a balance for depreciation ever because it's only a expense that we record at the end of the financial year to record the loss in value for the current financial year so it is always only the current expense that we record here it is not an expense that accumulates over time so it closes off, it cancels out at the end of the year. Um, and that will be shown in the next model um, or chapter. So yet again, February 28th, first we record the total loss in value for old, or all the vehicles, old and new. And that is the accumulated depreciation on vehicles for 52,600. And then we do the same for equipment. So accumulated depreciation on equipment for old and new, 12,728. And we add together to get a total loss in value for all our assets, 65,328 Rand. And that is depreciation. Now it can get slightly more complicated depending on when you buy the asset. But just as long as you draw your timelines, you will keep your head above water and focus. So it is super important to draw your timelines to make sure you know for how many months to calculate for old and how many months to calculate for the new equipment. And as we say, depreciation only records the current year's loss in value because the accumulated depreciation account will show the total loss in value for all equipment over time. So we don't need a double entry for that. So we already record the total loss in value over the entire lifespan of all equipment in the accumulated depreciation account on equipment. And the same for vehicles. So the depreciation account is only the current financial year. 
Thank you. This is depreciation. I know that it seems a bit daunting, but just keep at it. Keep practicing and you will be good with it. In the next activity, we are going to expand and we're going to look at more year-end adjustments, accrued um, expenses and prepaid expenses, and the same for accrued income or income received in advance. And we will look at those in addition to um, depreciation. Thank you and goodbye from Mrs. Demailon.